Dr. Pepper. Oh. It drown, drown. It. Oh. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> this is the Gamer Brothers HD again. What? what? <laughs> you wanna? What well, I was trying to say. <laughs> drown in Dr. Pepper. Make him watch. So we are back again ah, uh, yeah. with another reaction video because recently, actually just a little, just a couple hours ago, Thoughtful's yes, <laughs> tell the people, <laughs> Thoughtful's minion uploaded a new video <clears throat> on their channel. It's the top ten Super Smash Brothers ultimate characters. And I Fascinating. Thought, and he has been waiting all morning for this video to come up. As soon as he made the announcement that the video was going to come up, he was just refresh, refresh, refresh on the Roku TV outside. <laughs> you know what the problem was? He said when he made a Twitter post saying "See you at noon" with the picture of the thumbnail. Yeah. So it was 12 when I was refreshing the page. The problem was it was Pacific Standard Time. Yeah. So. So I didn't know that until I read the, the, the reply. So this is only just a little bit ago. Uh, so there we go. Uh, top 10 Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Characters. It's about 28 and a half minutes long. I'm just going to click like on this video already, since we already haven't seen it yet. Gotta support the man. I mean, I, I mean, even if you don't watch his videos, you still gotta support him, man. I mean, really. He's a great dude. Exactly. I want to meet him someday. Yeah, exactly. Alright, well, you're saying that as if you rehearsed this. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, I would meet this man we watch videos from. I am subscriber. I <laughs> subscriber. Here okay, we gotta start. One, two, three, one, two, four. No. Four. Go. Memory of fellow Smash Bros. Chris Taylor and Desmond Amufa. Amufa. Just embarrassing myself. On this day, when your mind blew away, the wait came to an end. So far, you smash despair. That was a very disappointing reveal. <laughs> Sounded like and way it's way about fuck time I rose to give Master Hero Sakurai's new magnum opus the countdown treatment. That's a lot of characters. That's a lot of characters. They all had to fight for their invite, but they got a kill to get into this grand finals. Let's see how the bracket stacks as I pay my dues to video games the game. It kind of pains me to have to limit this to 10. There are so many winners, all hand in hand and protected by Thanos tier balance. Nothing else really to say except both veterans and newcomers and their echoes are qualified. And there might be around two once all the DLC releases. If you guys like this enough. Oh, and if any of the footage happens to look familiar to you, it's because some of its online spectate matches via shared content. Don't have the time nor skill to get that many nice clips for everyone. You kidding? Three, two, I've heard the one, go! I've heard the online is still shit. Weaklings, a lot of you. Whoa! That's actually pretty good. Oh, you're gonna win? Can't let you do that, Star Fox. <laughs> Surprises me that Star Fox is built up with his godly force in the Smash community mythos, yet it, only a third of it really Brawl comes is me. still my yeah. personal favorite. Ooh, arf, son. Playing wolf's like finding out you're a furry. Thoughts vanish, desires get a bit more. Arf. You wonder why the hell you feel so gross? You kind of start to like it. Is this okay? <laughs> Justify? Sorry, if it doesn't have O's or W's in it, I can't read it. Lo and behold, the true ultimate spacey. Yes, it would seem no matter the era or realm, there's always a story about little boys crying wolf. And all with the same ending. That's my favorite part. Lilacs, A-list alphas, and epic belly scratching for freestyle junkies. Taking Fox's laser pointer on crack oppression and Falco's extensive combo web. Wolf Jeez. with the pursuit of ambush hunting styles to form an apex web. Out of the three, I probably would main wolf. Venom tipped finger knives yeah. he calls claws. The king of Star Wolf weaves together. Lunch. I used to love Wolf and Brawl. Bitch, so I'm locked up. 
Join and kill confirms ever created. I don't, I don't recall. How do you unlock them again? Approach, nuking, bayonet, like, I know one of them was the story mode. Yeah. Hitbox <laughs> data and airspeed of a military spaceship. It raises a good question. Why does he even use a spaceship? For style? Dude, you are style. It's just a button to imagination you pick up from the pet store. It's crazy how many strings and combos Wolf can conjure. Setting his ironic utility as a fur flinging steamed vegetable aside, he's played like crazy everywhere for good reason. He's possibly the easiest, most fun pick up and play character low key in the whole series. Wolf's ridiculously forgiving, super enjoyable for those who don't want to try hard, and super rewarding for those who do. It's awesome to have something you don't have to sweat bullets for. Even more so when it's something you can reliably go the distance with. Fox kills my fingers, Falco kills my confidence, but Wolf kills my boredom. Oh, I always love that theme. Yeah. It's just standing there. <clears throat> Menacing lady! No matter which I need a hero playing in the background. The sense that <laughs> Smash games and communities are about as united as the states. Not at all. It's a pig style, and it needs cleaning. A hero to renew unity. Oh, I would have gone with Mr. Clean, but I thought that was Steve for a moment because he's just standing there. He's just iconic <laughs> reincarnations bless the legendary fighting franchise in a crossover that manages to make it even more legendary. Truly, one of the only times a new addition to the roster was intimidating. We're talking THE RPG protagonist, one of the original fantasy heroes, Link's spiritual twin, like Bow. Now! Oh wow, this is so cool. Surely, this was the hero we all needed. In so many deeply detailed ways. Absolutely. Hero epitomizes the friendly comfort that Smash originally charmed all of us with, and somehow managed to bridge the joys of both fighting and role-playing games together into a great sage of a sword fighter, mirroring the form of his Hylian brother in an actually super meta and endearing design choice. The lords of Elifgard and beyond blend clunky but chunky sword combat with highly detailed magic spells and mana system, taking what Samus does and summoning a demon with it to Jeez. create easily the most deadly terror trapping in all of Smash. <laughs> they don't make me orgasm over their epically cheesy JRPG I hated this. <laughs> They're rocking I mean, he has, he has, it has a limit, but still. Get in. Oh, oh my god! Yes, sir! Smile, by means! How about yay? What? What? <laughs> Tell me about your problems. Huzzah! I love that female. I vanquish the darkness! Simon says... You ever just die and come back in a hundred years? Me too. As painful as Link, being yes. by dangerously pointy ball and chain torture noodle would be, seriously, ouch! The wait for the biggest lights of Bram Stover's vest to rid us of the curse of boredom was much more so. Count killers Simon and Richter Belmont save us at long last. I've heard that the power of Christ compels something fierce, but Jesus! Literally, just when you thought projectile playstyles couldn't get any wilder, the two great Castlevania lords get issued a new restraining order from the B-button, Minutely. The badassery that these two holy humps of hellspawn murdering fame bring to the world of Smash is unrivaled, with the wicked flair of their attacks, hype erupting flavor talk. Snake who? Legitimately two of the coolest characters the series has ever seen, man. Funny then, that they decided to make the play so lame. You know what's lame? Scrubs. Without 
<laughs> You're scrubs without boots. Just like the series they hail from, Simon and Rector make prolific use of specialized weaponry, turning GameCube controllers into Atari joysticks. Belmonts live for the thrill of pushing the shiny red button. Flinging so much crap in your face, you'll dead ask you wonder who turned items on. Axes, holy water, crosses everywhere. Yeah, who heard of running out? Literally heartless. Jump no, ledge no, fun no, quit yes. <laughs> what is a man? Not you. God, I love the Belmont salt towers. What and is a man? Like Castlevania. There's truthfully a lot of hidden depth in all of this. A oh, man. Coverage. Admirable skill to make the most out of amazing disjointed aerials and calculated projectile placement. So awesome. And also frustrating. No, I fell into a pit for one hit and died instantly. What kind of stupid design is this? <laughs> That's the stuff. Oh shit. I figured. Yes, they did. As a legitimate series game changer, Ridley sharpens any edge Smash already had into an obsidian saber tipped with plasma. For the I like how they all time, said, no, it's not, not possible, it's not possible. And, and then all of a sudden this, we said it wasn't possible. That no longer <laughs> Doesn't that make us a bubble blowing double baby? Smash help any fighting game <laughs> captured such a sinister force of fiction. Get dead and skewered, Bison. I was killing little girl parents in cold blood before it was cruel. I'm still shocked this even happened. Sure, making the giant murdery space dinosaur only two Kirby's tall throws you for more loops than what your space average cartoon dinosaur. toucan eats. But sweet, tender Lucifer from my bed last night. This is Dragon Tales meets Halloween. And you want him playing with kids and puppies? I am in! Ridley is so refreshing and brilliant, I can't buy this game enough. Finally, controlling a villain without so much as an illusion of humanity is a constant thrill of illegally dangerous living. Yo, this ain't okay, and I love that. Samus' belligerent bane is a specialized monster among specialized monsters, and an ingenious interpretation of boss battle anatomy through his enormous frame and reach. Ridley is an imposing spectacle with some of the best disjoints ever witnessed and burst damage options that are insane even for his size class. Like many bosses, his size makes him red velvet cake to hit, leaving this giant illusion that it's one-sided. But with proper control and pattern exploitation, Ridley showcases the most classic trait of bosses. Three good hits and it's over. So no, do not feel safe. The awful trait of being a chonk on low cal keto, seriously dude, at least eat the children you murder, is legitimately counteracted by the godly power, planetary range, and something everyone forgets, one of the fastest run speeds of any ultimate newcomer, the strongest heavy on paper. Yo ho ho and a bottle of your blood, a space pirate's life for me. One well, of the best themes in the game. <clears throat> oh, okay. Holy shit. Your feet are right. fire, that rug pool was so fast. Mission status just received. Invade planet URM1ND and blow it up. Aside from Pac-Man, I don't know if anybody from the other list in Smash 4 would appear here. Except maybe Ness, I'm not sure. The real Hathamus? Perfection. Well, Perfection. not quite, but for what I call the very first time, Samus is a true-to-life treat. The unflinching root of my playstyle is terror trapping, and when it comes time to choke them with their own anxiety, the champion of the Chozo's borderline BDSM. I am serious here. This chick's got you by a plasma leash. Having already conquered traditional space, Samus controls the mechanical kind with the most delicately awkward design of the 
original aim. Using her trademark arsenal to set strategically placed fire charges, she is absolutely going to bait you into. Missiles for variable pressure, screw attack for instant outer shield, no touching, more fall Oh, snake. Oh, my God. I hope he doesn't stop movement him. Mix -ups. And oh, my God, the charge shot. Why? Why give an energy blast as big as Donkey Kong that kills at 80 only 3 seconds of charge time? Why make its babies true short to medium range kill combo starters? Why give this panic attack in a can charge canceling and be reversing? That's right baby, you know it always comes. You never know when, you never know how, but you know it's gonna kill. It's such a meta joy from a surprisingly non-meta character. Yes, I'm surprised. Through the poignant encouragement to explore, Samus has so many ways to psych you out to smithereens that almost nobody knows the secret to besting her at the mental game. Ordinarily, this clumsy combo of tanky floatiness and anemic shapeless normals would spell out other M on your viability tombstone, but the strange dynamics of her specials, shield conditioning, and heals from hell somehow fit the square block into the round hole. Sammy, babe, you didn't even need the best skin in Smash history. And so long as you use move, rematches are always fire. Five. Kitty <laughs> kitty. In this corner, lying in at 116 units, the Igneous Undertaker of Alola, Incineroar! The fun thing about someone gushing over Pokemon's own John Cena, you can't see it coming. Oh, take out that trash. Feed them poor starving zigzagoons. Okay, I'm sure y'all probably got some cool kitties. Real good boys. But are they great? Hey, Tony! <laughs> Spend a great time with Ultimate's best hugger softened me up to something. Winning ain't the prize. It's the thrill of the fight. Pretty funny to see people sleep on an animal that normally sleeps on us all the time. But them's the claws. Incineroars, a beastly combo of fierce terror tactics and vengeful murder powers even the sensor bar fears. More so than any other character. The kicks in City gives from Suplex. nerves by just standing, disemboweling their panic options, ascend me higher than a magic blunt from Pluto. Meow. <laughs> yeah, sure, <laughs> Daniel survived the lions, cause they weren't VGC champs. What a brilliant translation. Playing into his greatest strength back home, Incineroar thrives on getting that one golden intimidate play. Make your epic call out, then maul their shook asses to horribly bloody shreds with your excellent heavyweight frame data, chunky hitboxes, and some of the strongest kill power in Smash history. Revenge of the Dish best served cold? Explains the sweat. Leave it to the Kratos of fighting game developers to make a fire Pokemon that doesn't use fire so fire. The King of Comebacks deal is packaged with absurdly charming animations too. Look at him, such a good boy. I still Can remember I the uh, right added him to the reaction to this reveal. Uh, yeah, I mistaked it for a firefighter. <laughs> of course, she's slower than a rock that fell and bumped its head on itself and knows the art of recovery as well as a black market zombie doctor. Look, if screaming, let me in! Constantly kissing this top tier charisma and game robbing carnage, I'm utterly psyched to be both the slowest and last known survivor. Four. <laughs> yes. Looks like everything's hunky dory in the world. Sweet little. <laughs> Holy shit! quite understood the idea. Was that Hugh Neutron? I think it was. And letting 
just take it from there. Consider me disappointed. Look, I get plants only get talked to by specialized nerds, but to hear the plant gang grow silent instead of tall weeds, all of you, botanical bro extraordinary <laughs> piranha plant, wouldn't be caught wilted caring about puny <coughs> fleshly grievances, let yeah. alone bending a knee to a fat GSB, with neither flesh, knee, or any care, the Audrey 2 of planet mushrooms, an alien attack on boredom and beyond. Taking the Darwin level stupid idea of forcing a playing ass enemy to tussle with A list all stars with decades of significance behind them was mad brilliant. Ending up as not only the best joke character the FGC has ever seen, but a bar raiser for Smash Fighter design. Somehow making something without <laughs> legs, eyes, opposable appendages, motor skills, or sentience fun, creative, interesting, and one of the best personalities of a near triple digit ensemble cast how lord that's funny though i gotta say not nearly as funny as what this rain as die trap does to john's from literally toxic ledge trapping and intangible bear trap mouth piranha plant waters itself with your tears forcing them out by any means necessary and in doing so suffocates it's insanely pissed off Prey with the playstyle so weird and rare, politically stable, racially inclusive, transgender Bigfoots have a lower black market value. You can't beat prices. Well, actually, yeah, you can. Often. But you can't make a sad face when you don't even have one. Plant game, plant game, plant game, plant game! <laughs> K rule. <laughs> I wasn't even expecting that. I just want to let you know that. It was a complete guess. Did you secretly watch this without me? No. This is all new. No, I literally haven't watched this. <laughs> K rule. Is it just K rule? Did you watch this without me? Sometimes all you can beat combo buffet is a zero stress joyride. Impossible? Think that died when obese cartoon crocodile dropkick spams magic ninja made headlines. King K rule is the hypest heavy in smash ever. And the gap ain't even quantifiable. Remember the memes the best, of him he is yelling? The best. <laughs> 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 the kind of, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, it's so funny. Mesh of adaptive projectile <laughs> predatory punishment. Wielding his top tier cosplay powers and propensity to eat all existence to serve the Krem Crew Brown. A ne'er do stupidly well by heart, DK's evil equal got that damage, quadruple bypass, kill power, awesome range and hitboxes, projectiles, berries, stalling, movement tech, deep recovery, a counter, a reflector, and the best overall frame data of any heavyweight. Also, does this dude train under Giga Bowser or something? Flinch, you continent! I'll concede to the absurdity. Feels like you're playing dodgeball doubles with your zip code sometimes. But I adore K. Rule's portrayal of that panoramic Uno dick of nothing but wild cards. We've dreamt on a super heavy for ages. In so many ways, being the Bowser of my dreams. Masterfully blending buffoonery and brutality in an animate explosion of spice to cheese sauce. Mark my words, nobody else comforts me quite like K. Rool does. I binge this bastard hard for just how cozy his game is. Even the two above him can sometimes <coughs> slam me with the post try hard blues. That never happens with the Krem Commander. Nothing but silly stupid fun to laugh the bad days away. Loyalty's the core of any kingdom. And the one painted green, scaly, and cool? <laughs> Sure. Two. He moved down. He was number one in the in the SSP four one. Nice. Crawls. 
a battlefield. I mean, with him, it was obvious last time. No way out of my maze. From the number one's got to be Banjo. My S -tier I'm calling it. Passions. Rises Namco's Arcadian Grandmaster. Honestly, Yet if he is, I'm not surprised. An ongoing I, mean, yeah. of the I would see it coming, story. considering. And yeah. from this sequel to Smash Four Sonic, you fool. Yeah, his list almost completely changed. The this is the only character who was on the last of list. All time is born. Graduating from Rube Goldberg to Jigsaw, <laughs> this titan of tricks and tactical torture ravages the biggest, baddest fighting game roster ever with abilities none of them can dream of. The tool assisted, passive aggressive rage robot of the infamous Zoner class is a slave to its deadly protocol, pressure and chaos. Power and control, super villain alias. Through vast specials that baffle the meta, Pac Man is a jack of all trades and master of many. Let's see that list. Omnidirection of killing super armor charge that flies the length of FD, infinitely loopable kill, combo, frame trap, lingering, and stun projectiles that never stale or stop, terraform bunker to amplify jank, suffocate the ledge, and legit destroy approaches, a lingering three-tiered anti-terrain shield that forces jumps and Jeez. free falls, pick and choose, all at the same time. So, what's anybody to do when there's still Mario-grade frame data, recovery that makes Pikachu vomit, transcendent 26 frame long dead zoneless combo grab, Smash 4 Diddy Kong's banana, an atomic stop sign of an F-Smash bigger than his whole body and stronger than Roy's, and some of the most unfair aerials and hitboxes in the whole game? You thought I had an answer? There is almost nothing that scares or impresses this magic monster. It's unreal to see this godly marvel of freestyle fighting game design finally become a god. Amazingly fun, boundless possibilities, ceaseless wonders. There is nothing the maze runner from hell can't do anymore. The true Napco Museum. Hail the Pac Nation and sip your tea proudly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro, I would laugh my ass off if the design for Banjo and Kazooie were from Nuts and Bolts. <laughs> These are his top 10 disappointments in games, right? I believe so. That entire game is number two. Oh my god. The magic of letting me own face with my most requested faces by a galaxy wide margin. Uncontested for 20 Once I get the DLC from for Smash on my Switch, I'm gonna try to main him. I remember only playing him a little bit until we until you got your own switch. The edges of the millennium myth. Turning wild into a psychoactive drug. Banjo and Kazooie are a great no. of amazing attributes and pinpoint punish power via extremely detailed ability adaptations. Spiral Mountains, wacky witch hunters, run as fast as Ridley, have two double jumps, are as heavy as Snake, as well as being the only duo with a solo hurt box. The cheesy absurdity shines all throughout. Banjo being the hunky hunk rage monster. Monster, and Kazooie being the completely transcendent, projectile spawning, invincibility granting bird sword. Oh, it's perfect! You have any idea what they're actually capable of? No. Using the ancient ways of the egg, Banjo and Kazooie are low key gods of spacing, ledge trapping, and kill confirming with their disgusting grenade traps. Demonic! <laughs> Two framing disjoints and cartoony hitbox privileges squeezed in with a fantastic F tilt, fair back throw, and said eggs multiplying the recovery by infinity and kill confirming down throw and a chunky up tilt and lingering bomb turd into 36 frames of invincible Doria. We lord this character. It's incredible seeing all these iconic moves, hearing all these nostalgic voice clips. Put to such a charismatic, 
complex and challenging all around her, matched with mad charming <gasps> animations across the board. The perfect combo of gimmicky and classical. They feel so fresh, but also like they've always been there. I always told myself that if they ever got in, I'd play them, even if they weren't fun. But they aren't, and they're really here as the fearless, fun fairy explorers who made wasting time so magical. They found it and placed it in. Thank you. Thank you so much. And so out pop bird and bear, out of what seemed like thin air, to answer the prayer of new epic memories to share. This is being Fuffles Minion. Cheers to the greatest fighting game of all time, and the two good reasons why. There you go. Awesome. I like that. Nice. Oh, I probably wasn't uh, too shocked seeing how one of the ten characters from the last list made it in, because I knew he was going to probably choose uh, other characters for this list. Yeah. But since things were uh, things were different in this game, and characters had changes to their movesets and damage outputs and all that yeah. jazz, so things had to have been different for him to leave out everyone else. Right. I mean... His other list was full of other weird oddballs. There was fucking Peach, Lucario, Little Mac, Game & Watch. Wario was number three. <laughs> How you get it, three? Number four was Mega Man. <laughs> Damn. Like, yeah. I mean, I mean, obviously, like, we're literally when, when, you, the... when you were saying that, oh, Banjo is going to be number one, I'm like, you know what? I am not going to be surprised if it is. It's Fawful's Minion. He's yeah, because it's Fawful's Minion. Because it's Fawful's Minion, exactly. I was kind of shocked. Why would he that... not be number one if he would, like, when he's legit in the game? Want to know how I knew? What? Six of those characters are on the thumbnail. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Once we ever, once we ever get to play all the characters again, I might want to make a tier list of my own. I want to start doing tier lists on the channel. Yeah, I still have that um, Google document of ideas we should do, and yeah. I'm also I'm always taking suggestions. Yeah. So whatever is fine. Yeah. By the way, I'm actually doing job stuff now. I applied for uh, a, a food service position at the PCSB. Uh, Pinellas County Schools. It can. Finally gonna do something with my life. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out my life. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you all for joining us. Yeah! Uh, this was actually a really, <laughs> really cool experience. Yeah! To be honest with you. Yeah! I mean, it's Fuffles Minion. Yeah! Anyway, uh, let's just... Uh... Later! Ha! Ah! Ah! Ah!